All right, thanks for clicking on the video. This is Gullpain, uh, just back with a quick video response. And today I'm video responding to, well, it's it's that 10 question, um, 10 questions that was going around, you know, the old, uh, the, the YouTube community there for a while. And um, loads of people did like video responses to this. I have no idea who the originator of the 10 questions was, but I was tagged by two of my YouTube friends. Uh, one was Retro Ed, Retro Ed UK. Um, so Retro Ed, excellent channel, go check him out. He's currently doing a really good podcast um, where he's talking about all things gaming and films and stuff. So uh, Ed is a collector of fine video game wares also and has some uh, some really good stuff. I almost met Ed in um, in the Nottingham Video Game Expo. I think he was there, but we we didn't co we he, we had agreed to go to meet up, and then we just forgot. Um, and then I think he was ill or something, so he didn't like really do much like filming and stuff there. But um, yeah, I was gutted I didn't meet Ed, so I'll have to meet him at the next expo that I go to, hopefully. Uh, and then the second person that tagged me in this, because it's been going around so much, was um, my good buddy Metropolis, who I've been subscribed to for years, the originator along with Retro Red Steve, of the High Score Challenge, the Tubers High Score Challenge, which has taken on a life of its own, and they've retired. Metropolis and Retro Red Steve are like the, you know, the, the godfathers of like the Tubers High Score Challenge. They've retired now, um, so they don't take part in the High Score Challenge anymore, but other people have taken up the mantle and the torch and kept it going. So it must be going for like 12 years now or something. The, I'm, I'm only doing it, the, the High Score Challenge. I'm sorry, I'm not doing it. I'm only coming last in the High Score Challenge for the last maybe like, God, it must be seven years now, actually, I'm doing it, so um, it's a while, but yeah, they, they started it. Uh, so Metropolis, another great channel as well. He does this really cool um, thing called Roaming the Ruins, where he goes around like different um, ruins, ruins, uh, different like uh, dilapidated, 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 dilapidated um, ruins around like Wales and stuff, because I think he's from Wales. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it's really cool to see because I love like I, like I love history myself, um, so I love going to those kind of places. Um, I recently went to, when I went to Nottingham a while ago. Uh, speaking of Nottingham, I went to the um, the Nottingham uh, Museum with like you know Robin Hood and stuff, and that was excellent. to Love that. Um, yeah. So they, anyway, the, the ten questions. So then I you're supposed to tag people in the ten questions as well. So I was going to tag. PJ Venom, my good buddy, my good vegan and crime PJ Venom, and also um, old school games and stories. But I, I texted them or I emailed them, whatever, messaged them and said, can I tag you in this? And um, they had both done the 10 videos by the time I was getting around to do this. So they've done already. So I don't know, just whoever wants to do a video response to this, go ahead. And I just have to do a quick disclaimer or a quick apology to um, uh, old, school, old, school games, old school games and stories. It's like... Um, it's, uh, is, that, is it Linford or Linden? Linden. Um, he was going to tag me in, um, or nominate me for um, YouTuber of the Month in the YouTuber of the Month series, which, I'm, which I was into a while ago when um, Generation Pixel was doing it. But um, I've kind of lost touch with it because, I don't know, someone else is doing it now. But um, it was around the time when, like, some, someone was, like, using a bot or something to, like, vote. I don't know, something like that. There was some controversy at the time. So I just requested, I asked them, like, don't um, nominate me because there's all, like, controversy and stuff and I don't really want all that kind of, you know, like, all that all that stuff in my life. So apologies, old school game of stories. Thank you for very much for um, uh, nominating me for that. I, I do appreciate it. And I appreciate the shout out you gave me um, on the... Um, the podcast you did with the um, with the other guys as well that was that was very good. So anyway, to the questions because everyone takes like about forty minutes to answer these questions, but I said I'm going to do less than five minutes, so I've got about a minute to answer the questions. Okay, number one, what is your favorite type of game? If you want to do a video response, I'll put the questions. I'll copy. I'll paste them into the into the description of this video as well. What's your favorite type of game? RPG or Metroidvania? Um, how much time do you spend? Uh, planting. How much time do you spend playing games? I mis mistyped it. I spend probably an hour a night or maybe and then at the weekend then maybe like four hours. So like, I don't know, like six hours a week, something like that. Seven hours a week playing games. Um, depends if it's the summer because I'm a teacher. So in the summer I spend loads of hours playing the games, but during term time not so much. Do you think video games can be educational? 100% because I remember playing Broken Sword when I was like really young before I like went to university or did like high school or anything like that and I just lo I fell in love with like the Templars and all that and all that kind of crusade stuff. So then I ended up studying history at university and teaching the crusades as well. So yes, video games can be educational. They really influenced my um, sort of career. <laughs> um, what don't you like about video games? Nothing. Um, how much do you spend on games? Loads of money. Um, way too much money. Um, I've, I've calmed down recently because I used to, well I'm not, 
I don't really spend that much, a lot on games. Like the most I've spent on a game, like if it's a special edition or something, be like a hundred. I, I bought the um, like the limited run games. I'll I'll buy like the Nintendo version for like eighty quid and the twenty pounds postage, whatever. But um, I'll I'll generally like I'll only buy games if they're cheaper or after they've been out for a while. Um, what's your favorite games console at the moment? Probably Switch because there's just there's just so many good games on it. Um, but maybe like PlayStation Two. Um, What's your favorite game? Either Suikoden 1 or Castlevania Sympathy of the Night. So I can't really pick between those two because those are my both favorites. Um, favorite game, video game movie, Mortal Kombat 1 is awesome. I love that um, film. Or Resident Evil 1 is good as well. Or Resident Evil 2. Um, Resident, or whatever Resident Evil 2 is called with Jill in and Nemesis, the, that film, that's really good as well. Even though everyone hates it, but I think it's good. Um, favorite video game character, probably George Stobart, Leon Kennedy, um, Adam Hunter from Streets of Rage, or um, I don't know, Jill Valentine. One of those. And least favorite type of game, uh, first person shooter. I don't know why, it just makes me sick. Um, that's why I haven't played Skyrim. I played Skyrim in VR and it made me sick. Um, but there's something about the first person perspective I just don't like. There are a few first person games I've played like Bioshock or um, The Darkness. I thought those were pretty good. But in general I don't like first person shooters. So that's the 10 questions. I will leave the 10 questions in the comment section below. Thanks very much for the two guys that tagged me as well. And I'm tagging two people but they've already done videos. So I guess my job is done. You know, that's, that, that's it. I don't have to tag anyone else. So if anyone wants to do a, ta um, a response to this, by all means do. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next video, adios.